What up guys, That Comic Awesome here with another review. Today I'm doing The Flash, number 39. Uh, this is the 700th issue of The Flash, and Grodd is back. Which is a little misleading, because Grodd isn't really back until like the last three pages. They make it seem like this is going to be the epic showdown, but it's obvious Perfect Storm Part 2 will actually be um, the main fight. But, but don't let that deter you. Um... If you haven't read The Flash, or you are kind of been on the fence, you've watched reviews about it, and you're kind of like, yeah, it seems like a good book, but there's a lot, you know, we're on the 39th issue, and there's a lot going on. I'm, I'm a little too far gone on being able to catch up. This this issue does a great catch up. <clears throat> and uh, I, I think of it as like the equivalent of like older TV shows when like, you kind of get far into the series, like sitcoms used to do this, and they had like the flashback episode, you know, where they would sit around and like reminisce about like, oh, well, guys, remember when we adventured here, or we did this, or we did that. Um, this is kind of like that. It's not quite as cheesy, but uh, it really does just give you little tidbits in natural fashion of what's been going on in this run and a little bit before the run. So um, let's jump right in. So, first we get uh, a good little monologue about how humans always strive for power, but power needs to be returned to its rightful owner. Um, and then you get this beautiful page. I kind of like that it's it it's a lot of empty space, but, I mean, the fact that this is the 700th issue, and they kind of are like, you know, DC Comics proudly present the 700th, 700th issue of the flash and you have this really great spread uh and barry kind of goes into this you know his normal inner monologue and there's a little um there's a little jab by grod earlier about this you know because it always starts off with my name is barry allen and um which again that's fine but it, it goes into this story about uh in first grade he liked this girl and his mom was like just be honest with her well of course you know as the flash he hasn't been you know, honest with people. I hate this. I don't hate the terrifics. Uh, it seems like it's, it might be okay, but I hate double page ads. Double page ads, they break the story, they break your, you know, what you're doing, because you, again, you, you flip from this, and you're like, yeah, what are we going to get into? Ads. It's <laughs> really awful. Anyway, so uh, Barry had called uh, Iris to... Um, to the cemetery of his mom, you know, where his mom's buried. Um, they've had issues ever since um, Thawne had revealed Barry's identity to Iris. Um, Iris then in turn actually killed Thawne, but there's the trust is now broken. But Barry's like, look, I want to protect you. Like, I want, I want to be there. I want my friend back. I miss you. So... They kind of make up a little bit, and she says, "Well, I want to know. I want to know Flash. I want to know who the Flash is." So they kind of go on this adventure, and in this again, kind of like in the dialogue. And again, this is a lot of word bubbles, but it's a lot of like catching up on the last thirty-nine issues of what's been going on. Um, you know, when you get some some really cool art with like some things that have happened, and again, this is all just like, how you became the Flash, how you did this, how you did that, but again, it's the, it's all in dialogue, and it's done, um, really well. Next, there's this whole second story where, um, Kid Flash is escorting, um, a prisoner who was a speed machine, and again, I jumped in on this series on, uh, issue 26 so I don't know what happened in the first 26 issues but again this kind of catches us up on that I can only assume that when the speed for when Barry uh, interacted with the speed force um, you know to kind of set things right after flashpoint um, it released you know a bunch of energy creating uh, many speedsters uh, in the last couple issues we've we met like Godspeed uh, who was a villain, and then this is a uh, speed machine, uh, a guy who tried to use the speed force and like control it, and of course, the speed force doesn't like being controlled, so it turned him into this huge monster. 
again, double page ads, like the, literally the worst. So, uh, and again, another speedster shows up. Uh, this is Avery. Again, I'm guessing created uh, during that same time, which this is leading to something. The, you know, all of these speedsters, it's a little much. I mean, it's like a flavor of the week of, hey, who's this person? What color costume do they have? We're like, oh, they're a speedster too. They're just as fast as the Flash. It's, it's a little old, but I think Josh Williamson's about to correct that with Flash Wars. So I'm hanging on. I'm really hanging on. But this is Avery. Uh, she's part of the uh, JLA over in China. Well, I guess it's not the Justice League of America in China, but the Justice League in China. Um, and again, they kind of, they give you some good references of like, hey, if you don't know this person, they did a crossover. Cool. Um, so then some Speed Force stuff starts happening. Um, the uh, the person who was Speed Machine ends up getting killed. And again, these nice moments between Iris and Barry, where they're just like, they're, he's trying to be honest, and he says, you know, I protected my identity because I wanted to protect you. She said, no, you protected your identity because you wanted to protect yourself, which, in the in the classic Spider-Man era of, like, secret identities, yeah, like, I get it. Spider-Man has a secret identity to protect Aunt May because if, if everyone knew P who Peter Parker was, then they could go after May, and they could go after, you know, his loved ones. But... You know, in the, you know, in that sense, if May knew who Spider-Man was, it wouldn't make a big difference. Just like if Iris knew who the Flash was, that wouldn't put her in danger because there's still no connection between the two, you know, outside of she reports on it. Um, then obviously there's, you know, the Speed Force Storm is happening in... Uh, Central City, again, another good, you know, kind of catch up that there are now two Wally Wests in this world. Um, one who was the original um, Kid Flash, who is now kind of an adult uh, working with the Titans. And then the new Kid Flash, both are technically Iris West's nephew. Um, but again, he kind of makes this point of like, he does, you know, the original Wally doesn't want to like tell her yet and this is again going to be I guess more fleshed out in the annual coming out next week which I am super excited about and then time starts to slow down uh, and we meet of course um, another double paged effing ad double page ads effing suck so time starts to slow down um, and we kind of get uh, another look at seriously it's like all ads towards the end of this. That's like the most frustrating thing. Uh, Mina is back uh, as Negative Flash, um, which again, that's when I picked up this book was the Negative Flash run, which was actually very interesting. It was the cover that grabbed me. It was pretty uh, sick looking. Um, but of course, there's a, a good reveal of Grodd and his, you know, what his intentions are. Uh, but definitely pick this up. If you're on the fence about the, the Flash, pick it up. Um... This, this should get you caught up enough. Um, look forward to the uh, Flash Annual next week. Uh, that's supposed to be a major jumping off point for Flash Wars, which I am super pumped about. Um, honestly, Flash is the, you know, I started at 26, but it's the main reason why I started jumping on more of the, the DC comics because I was like, I, I read it and I was like, Oh, a story can be a really good um, superhero story without any agenda pushing. And that's what this is. This is a fun superhero story. Uh, subscribe over here. Uh, watch some more videos. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, see you next time.